Well guys, uh, I don't have this mounted yet, but this is the partition. Uh, if you've seen the previous video, it consists of some, I guess these are two by twos or one and a half by twos, I don't know. They weren't big enough. But uh, a frame all the way around and inside is some uh, very, very thick 150 uh, foamular foam board. So it's a pretty good piece of insulated wood. Now, uh, this is not its 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 standing position. I've just got it laying here, and I'm not driving anywhere with this like this. So uh, don't nobody lose their mind and says, you know, and said, oh, you're going to kill yourself. I'm going to lay this down. I've still got because of the dimensions of the plywood that's available. I've still got a gap over there of 15 inches. Uh, so what I need to do is to uh, get a 15 by 51 and a quarter inch piece of wood and use some more of that formula insulation there and basically uh, use it to uh, use it to uh, fill in that area. Now the way it's configured now there's no door. What I was considering doing and I've actually bought them already. I bought some huge heavy duty gate hinges so if I could get something mounted here uh, in this uh, in this gap and stabilize and I can hinge it off of this I could actually make this one huge hinging doorway which would be pretty good because I could actually get up and just move it but to do that I also have to put casters underneath uh, the bottom there so it doesn't you know doesn't just scratch everything up every time I make a move uh, so I'm considering that I'm also considering just building just building the wall here uh, because I'm not uh, I'm not trying to make this uh, a hugely sophisticated put all the doors and stuff in it though I might and it might be something I do further down the line uh, it would be wise to do it now but uh, you know, it's, it's those things in consideration. I just want to show you, I did get this board cut, and you do see a gap up there. I can put like some underdoor insulation up there and fill in that gap. It was just too big a pain to create that that exact dome. I know some of you guys who are who are either expert carpenters or uh, have issues with details. What's the what's the psychological term for that? Can't think of it. Uh, it might come to me in a moment, minute. Uh, you you would you could probably have already done that. Now I can also uh, get frames down here. Uh, I mean some wood down at the bottom here, and just slide it along here, and drill it in on either side, and then also put it up at the top. You know I'd have to mount it uh, to that one metal piece up there and then across potentially I'd have to mount a whole stick of wood basically maybe even a two by four across here on either side then it might be safe enough to drive with uh, but basically I just want to show you what I've got so it, it does not look bad uh, it does have the little uh the numbers that I got from the Home Depot on this side. This side is relatively uh, more or less natural looking, so I'd probably flip it uh, and uh, and make uh, and make this side. I don't know, pointing out. I don't know if I need to need to the, the good side pointing in toward me or out toward the uh, the outside. I think I'm gonna paint this black probably anyway. So I think probably the profile it's got now is sufficient but this is basically it pretty thick piece and it's heavy as you know what because I had to uh, I had to uh, get a uh, get a two-wheeler to maneuver it uh, I took it out and and drug it into my garage uh, so I could actually do some cutting and get the last cutting fit up there so I uh, so I just want to give you the uh, the current status. Like I say, I'm not showing you anything. I'm not going from beginning to end in any of my videos. I'm just showing you the piecemeal way 
those of us that don't know what the hell we're doing uh, proceed and believe me I don't know what the hell we're doing and what the hell I'm doing and down here uh, I could put like easel type uh, uh, you know props on it you know how the easel is is uneven and unbalanced but it has these huge feet on it yeah, I could put the feet sheet down here and put and put the feet up here and then I would have a uh, a stable piece of wood but I still got to build on that uh, that last that last section so which is a 51 by 15 so I may actually go and get them to cut that 51 by 15 uh, at the Home Depot uh, and rather than doing it myself because it's a real pain to do this because uh, I'm working in and out of the little garage I have in my apartment so anyway that's, that's all I've got on this and uh, I will uh, be back with whatever else kick ass I'm going to do I'm going to start working on framing up that 15 by 51 piece unfortunately I don't have a single piece of of plywood it has that 51 inch dimension now so I'm probably gonna have to set it up and put two pieces of plywood and uh, fortunately I do have my uh, here we go I do have my uh, my brad nailer there so that doesn't make that a big deal anyway uh that's it and i will see you the next time i actually get something partially accomplished